So today we got few agenda for about. So the first one we will uh this to talk about the important notes before migration. But at the migration process, we only be performed on master stock item and together with the maintenance table. This is include the brand, uh, the brand, uh, the brand group, category, color, size, and unique operation that you will add. Even the stock metrics and the BOM stock also will migrate as well. And then the next one will be the cut out, the customer and supplier cut out together with the maintenance tables up, that is the, cut, the supplier cut group uh, or the sub customer cut group, salesman, the ethnic occupation and income and others as well. The child of cow, inside the child of cow, the job department, stock leg account also will uh, to migrate. After the master data, uh, the opening also we will the migrate. As number for the account opening, that means the smart SQL, the account balance as, as the cutoff, they will migrate to the dynamic day. And then the supplier or the customer opening balance. That means the smart SQL or the supplier or the customer, the outstanding document balance as, as the cutoff date, they will migrate as the opening to the uh, dynamic. The stock opening balance. The smart uh, scale, smart the stock closing value as, as the cut off date. But this one, you have to ensure to perform the stock value closing on the smart scale. Later, I will show the screen. Now. And then the account stock value. This is the GL closing stock value. Now. The last part is the member point opening balance. So that means all what the cut off date, then you have to do the things as, as on the date, then we will migrate to Dynamo. Second thing will be the cutoff data of the smart SQL must be confirmed before the migration process. For the example, if let's say the financial year for the customer is the 1st of 1st, 2021 until 31st uh, December, 2021. So the full year cutoff we will do, if let's say the start, uh, 1st of January, 2022, Customer want to use the dynamo, so you have to do the cut off. Uh, for this until the thirty first December twenty twenty one. If the middle cut off, you have to make sure uh every month of the year That means on year twenty twenty one, you have to make sure it's the last day of the month. And then the third one will be the stock closing value in smart SQL must be completed before the migration process. So if let's say the customer, the cutoff date is a 31st October 2021, then you have to have to do the closing until that day, then uh, to do the migration. The last one is the financial date of the dynamo must be set properly before the migration process. For example, this one, if let's say the cutoff date is the 31st October 2021, the your dynamic financial starting date you have to set the 1st of uh, November 2021. But however, what you do before the migration, you have if can you do the backup for the smart scale first. Huh? The second will be uh Talk about the migration wizard on our dynamo system. Okay, the, we got few two method to open this screen. The method one, you can go to the dynamo main screen there. You click the keyboard control alternate M. You will prompt up this one password screen. Then you key in the password to be the five three three zero seven zero eight two to open the migration screen second will be you can go to the business startup wizard this one is under the common module setup then you can go to the business startup wizard after that you 
uh, you click this one, set up account book. Then you select the option is the migrate from Smart SQL. But here for this screen, you no need to key in the password. Now. For here, just now this one, you have to key in the password. So it depends which one you want to use. Huh? Okay. After you access to the just now the migration screen, so you can see the migration wizard as, as this screen. Here will be prompt the mess, prompt up the fiscal year. Okay. Before you access this screen, you have to make sure you set up the fiscal year at the dynamo day. Here you can, if let's say uh, before you just now click this one, you've not yet set the fiscal year, it will prompt up the message as this image. We will prompt up uh, fiscal year does not exceed uh, in the dynamo data migration options. So here you click OK, it will prompt up the fiscal year setup screen for you. You just set up the date. Okay, so Dynamo start use date, you have to set the, when the customer start to use the Dynamo. The company fiscal year, you have to follow the customer financial year. If let's say as just now the example, the cutoff date is uh, 31st December uh, 2021, then you can set the date start uh, Dynamo to use the Dynamo is the uh, 1st of January 2022 in the company fiscal year as well. If the meter cut off there, if let's say the just now the sample meter cut off, like uh maybe the thirty first October twenty twenty one, then the first date you have to set uh first of November twenty first uh, of November twenty twenty one, and then the company fiscal year you have to set the uh first of January twenty twenty one. Here you can uh, generate for the next few fiscal year and the previous fiscal year. But here, if can, the previous, if for the migration uh, from Smart SQL, you have to make sure the last time the customer, how long they use the Smart SQL already. If let's say they use few, got, uh, got quite long time already, you have to set the previous fiscal year uh, longer a bit. Like, cause maybe they got uh, some of the outstanding document is a uh, really long time already. So if let's say you don't set the fiscal year longer uh, than previous fiscal year, uh, they will affect the, some of the report cannot show correctly. Uh. So this one you have to take note. Okay, this one is the, just now what I mentioned, the dynamic start use that for the company fiscal year. So maybe I explain again for here to ensure that just on the one day after the financial cutoff date. So this one is the, just now, as I said, if let's say the customer, uh, the cutoff date is 31st, 2021. So you have to set plus one day for this one. And then this date will be determined the opening balance put forward from the smart scale closing balance until the uh, 31st December. The company fiscal year, it will uh, also send. It will automatically uh, create the, the create data. Okay, like this one is type four, should be, it's a 2022, not 2020. So this one, after you set, you just close the wizard then continue the migration process. Okay. When you come into this screen, you here you've got the result of the requirement con and the content will be migrated in the spot. So here you have to take note the on the smart scale version must be a uh, version 20 uh 2019.1 build 4 and a buffer. So at the stock here, you, we will migrate the multi UM stock post, uh, post selling price, location alert level, stock GL posting, stock image, and then the VOM stock, serial number uh, setting, 
and the compatible stop setting. Okay, at the this on this screen, you have to select because this one just now is the pre uh, previous preset. So the second you have to set the choose the data source. So data source here you have to select uh the the five scale database for the migration. Next, B here you have to select the option you just want to migrate the master data or an opening data as well. By default, you will master and opening data. If let's say some of the user they want to migrate the master data only, you just can select this option. No? But the opening, maybe uh, you want to migrate, uh, maybe after they do the, if let's say they do the cutoff is a full year, maybe they want to settle all the account, done the audit, then they only can want to do the opening migrate. We also can do two parts. But you have to take care is uh, maybe there are some of the changing, maybe they add the some of the item for the, my, the master data there, then you have to daily as well. If not, then later you migrate the opening here will be affected. Okay. Or if let's say they choose the master data only, maybe some of the user they want to key in the opening by themselves also can. But after migrate the opening, we still can do the adjustment at the dynamic the opening screen there. Okay. And the data migration as a date here. Okay. So it will closing of the account, supplier, customer, stock, and member point as at until the date you want to do the cutoff. So it will depend on the your, your cutoff, the migration. And then if let's say the full year, full year migration, okay. Here you can, we got few option. If let's say the middle cut off, uh, you can you have to untake the PNL as return earning. So if you untake, you will migrate all the PNL item as well. Cause you have to compare if for the middle cut off, you have you have to compare the try balance the cow as well at the try balance uh, account item. If let's say for full year. You, you have to take up, take, that means if all the PNL for asset to date, the PNL item, you will uh, all convert to be the return earning. So here by default, the PNL as return earning is a default untaker. So this one is depends on the cutoff date. Uh, is middle cutoff or the full year cutoff. And the stock migration ops, uh, option, you can uh, just migrate the active stock only or even all stock. All stock means active or inactive also will migrate as well. So this one also depends on, cause some of the user they inactive the item means they no selling anymore. So maybe they can uh, untake so I can select this option of course last time uh, they want maybe they want to delete the item but system is not allowed to delete the item which has been sold so they only can accept to do the inactive so here you uh, you can try to let the user know if they say they really don't want the inactive item then they can select the active stock only uh. so here maybe they can uh, got a chance, maybe uh, last time which they want to delete, but system not allowed to delete the stock. So here they can take this chance to, to do the housekeeping for the item. <clears throat> so after the housekeeping, uh, which one is inactive, uh, which one they don't want, then they can select the inactive. Then when do the migration, you just uh, choose this option. And the chart of call migration op option here. So this one uh, is the account group in smart scale for cash or bank, bank one. Later I will uh, 
please come on next slide. Okay, so this is the migration data source as just now I mentioned, the child of cow migration option. For here, you, you can see the bank group, the account group here. If let's say they set the cash or bank, by right here, the bank or cash we set is the 50 dash bank. This one maybe is the last, uh, another version of the smart, previous version of the smart SQL. That's why they, they maintain like this one. So here, if let's say, Last time they man, uh they maintain the the bank group is like this bank or cash. So when we do the migration, we will follow this bank group to to set the this one the the account is a special account for the bank uh, bank or cash. That means in smart scale last time is to cash or bank. So in order to migration the dynamo of a special bank account or special cash account, so it will mapping at the, our dynamo day. So if let's say here uh, doesn't set any value, it will default as a special bank account for the migration uh, for the dynamo day. Here you can see this one or no set one, later migrate to the uh, then it will become special bank account. Okay, this is the sample. So after they migrate, here will be show up just now, all set, no set one will be uh, SPK and the dynamo is a special bank account. <clears throat> okay. And the option B here, Migrate master data or opening data, or the migrate master data only. Okay. But here you have to take note is option migrate master or opening data. It will require to do the stock value closing at smart SQL first up. So it will prompt the screen. So here it will uh, get the user or maybe implementer to do the process at the smart scale there. So this is the screen we have to, for the closing stock value at the smart scale there. So this one, when from this screen to ask you to do, you have to come to smart SQL here to do the closing stock value. Maybe if let's say uh, your customer confirm to do the you they, they uh, agree to do this one migration. Maybe before to do the migration, few days ago, you try to check their data. Is it no run? Uh? If let's say they few year, few months no run uh, or never run before, uh, it will take long time. So if can maybe you you help them to run, or you inform the user to ask them to run uh, run the this one uh stock value closing at the smart scale there. If not, you if you run on the last day when the you do the migration, uh, it will take long time, then you will waste your time to, to do it, to do the migration. So this one you have to take note now. And the migration of uh, this one option to select the data for migrate. Here you can select uh, what you want to migrate or what you don't want to migrate. So not everything have to migrate, uh, but uh, also depends on user here, what they want to select. And then you have to make sure is uh, the data is correct. Uh. So this one, if can, you maybe you can, uh, before you start to do the migration, uh, maybe you can back up user the data and test on your, uh, on your uh, PC there before uh, make sure no any error. Uh. Don't last minute when you done the migration. Uh, if you got any issue, uh, then you, you will be head headed. Uh. So this one you can, before, if let's say customer confirm or agree to, to do the migration for you, uh, uh, from you. So maybe you can 
back up their data to testing before uh, start to do the migration. So if let's say successfully migrate, it will be all 100% complete. If you uh, if got any error, error, it will come up at the process log and you can copy the message. If let's say in case of any issue, you can log ticket to let uh, our help desk to know. Lah. Okay, uh, this one is the next one will be the check migration data issue here. So before checking the data source issue, you have to need the check my sorry. But right here is the analyst, the data source. Before you start the uh, migration, after you select all just now thing here, you have to do the analyze data source. After you do the data uh, analyze already, then you done the migration uh, all, all done at the, just now the migration list here, all done already. After you done this one, you can check the migration data issue. Is it got any issue there? So after you click check migration data issue, you can come, after you click this one, you can come to the data source issue here. You check the every tab here. You see, got the master data got any issue or not? Duplicate uh, barcode listing or the account opening got any issue? Supplier or customer opening got any issue or the stock opening got any issue? So here you can see the master data checking. If you check the master data between the Smart SQL and Dynamo, which got issue on the my not migrated. Uh. So here you can see the type. The type will be show here. You can see that one is the stock item issue or the brand or group and or else. So you can see the everything here. So if let's say the issue from the stock item, you have to check what's the issue. Maybe it's a like in this case, maybe the non-active item you will not migrate. Cause when you do the option here, active stock only. So when they compare the smart scale and dynamo data, which is not migrated. So by right here, cause here you can, you choose the active stock only. Mark. So here only will show the, here if let's say show non-active mean no issue lah by right. Cause here you uh, show the active. If let's say active, you have to check with what is the issue when do the, why not migrate. Lah. And then the duplicate barcode listing. Okay, you can check the duplicate stock barcode lah at the slice square there. Maybe they, this one I'm also not sure why <laughs> slice square can set the duplicate barcode. Lah. But here you can take a chance to see eh, slice square by right there got the duplicate barcode. Then you might migrate to Dynamo there. We can see uh, that uh, actually slice square there got same barcode. So here, when migrate to dynamo here, only a lot one. So you can check the barcode. Why to pick it up? Is it got uh, any data user key it key wrongly or anything else? And then the account opening checking. Okay, here we will check the account opening between the smart scale and dynamo, which is uh, got issue or not daily. And then the supplier and customer opening as well you will check the not daily issue and any issue stock opening also but if let's say the stock opening there uh maybe the figure on the same issue i think you can you know cost at the smart scale day the decimal issue that's why uh when you do the stock opening checking, if let's say the figure there, if not big issue, maybe uh, you just can ignore for the stock opening checking there. Okay, the next one we will talk about the scenario migration, how to start to do the migration. Cause just now it's talking about the migration visit. Here we can uh, roughly before you start on to do the migration from size scale to dynamo. Okay, user intend to upgrade their size scale 
to dynamo on this one is the, our scenario on the 1st of January 2021. The business still running on the 2020. So before we start to migrate from Smart Scale to Dynamo, have to verify the details with user as below. The first one we have to uh, confirm with the user is the company uh, financial year. Have to confirm again, up, right? And then uh, this one is a at the setup there, you have to make sure the company fiscal year and then the dynamo start use date. If let's say the cutoff date for, for my this one uh, is uh, until 31st, 20, uh, 31st December 2020, so the financial to start is the 1st of January 2021, both also same. The costing method. Assisting smart scale is a, uh, if let's say they're using the weather average method. So the dynamo setting there, you have to set the dynamo uh, company default setting there, also set same. Cause uh, last time smart scale got three costing method. It's a standard cost, most reason, and the weighted average method. For dynamo here, we got a uh, five costing method. If can, uh, if user last time is using better average, maybe you can set back same uh, with the user with the average. So you have to understand every costing method. Uh, maybe you can explain what is the different now. Uh, our dynamo costing method uh, with uh, with the existing smart scale that one. And then the SST submission period, if let's say the user is a uh, SST user, uh, they got uh, submit the SST one, you have to make sure the SST setting as well. Okay. Before migration, you will have to do the backup first. Uh. This one is important. If let's say any issue, then we at least can restore back for user when we Okay, and then the data validation or check smart scale there. Is it got any issue? You can take and all the things to check. Third one will be the before migration. Also have to ensure the fiscal year set correctly or as what just now we uh in front that just now the page there. What have already confirmed with user? You have to set correctly here. And uh, just now I got mentioned the previous fiscal year. If let's say the user uh, used quite long time already, then you have to set longer the time a bit. And then choose the migration option, migrate the master data only, or to migrate the whole thing. So for my this scenario, it's a migrate master data only. La. So if you migrate, all the master data. So here you can see the opening amount there will not bring over to Dynamo. Okay. As just like I got mentioned, if let's say the user uh they want to start to use the Dynamo first, the opening maybe they want after they after done the adjustment for the audit there, then only want us to uh, migrate. So you can choose the option like this. Uh. And then after migrate the master data to the Dynamo, user have to do the final checking list before uh, go, go live on the 1st of January. So first one, you can uh, advise the user, uh, we confirm the company fiscal year, costing method, is it correct or not? Top, uh, company name and register number at the company set up there. And then the prefix number for the every uh, document, which one they got set the prefix, uh, need to follow the last number for the smart scale or not, you have to make sure. And then the touch flow and the touch FMB, cause last time they maybe they use the touch and post. So here now, uh, the, the prefix, is it want to set same or different, then maybe you have to uh, advise the user. And then, uh, Stock item maintenance. Is it all the item 
correct or not. The, the price or the things you have to make sure. And then the user access right for the dynamo and the post user and the salesman. Okay, for here, the dynamo user there, we will migrate all the dynamo user. But the access right, you have you user have to set, set again the access right. And then uh, the password, the password is uh, the password by default will be the smart lab. So you can uh, let user know, set again the password for the every user. And then the post user and the salesman as well. Dynamo and post report format. So last time the smart scale, the report engine is different. So now after they migrate to the Dynamo, they have to set again the report format. So this one also can set earlier for user. If let's say the user confirmed with you is a maybe few, one month ago, they already confirmed for you. So maybe you can ask user what the format they or they want to follow back the to the at the dynamo dynamo data or the post system there so you can set for that and then the supplier and customer card file and the chart of how make sure it's all is uh, correct what they want then after that the implementer can start set up the touch goal and installation configure to do the preparation for the first of January. If let's say you are implementer, you can install the program. This one are uh, the post system earlier also. No need until the last minute. You can do the configuration what you want. You can set all the things same as the existing the post system. Then you can at the night to do the cutoff, then you can uh, more easier to do that. If not, at the last minute, you have to set this and maybe something discard already. So this one, uh, maybe you can set earlier. And then user won't be able to have the closing as at the 31st December 2020, la, since many transactions still not yet insert at the smart scale. So as a just now scenario, so assume user completed all transaction on smart scale after two weeks, then only migrate. So this one, if let's say perform, even you perform this one, uh, cost, we have to set the month. If let's say now uh, we cut off is a 31st December, actually here you cannot do the closing on December, you can close until November only. So you have to, with one more day of you want to, if let's say if user no more transaction already, maybe you can adjust the computer date one more day, then uh, you can do the December, the closing. So this one is depends on, maybe if let's say uh, December after two weeks, they all need to do, then you can to migrate after two weeks. And then, Use the my dynamo migrate wizard to perform the migrate from the smart scale again. Since just now is after two weeks, uh, we do the migration because before uh on the cutoff date, we only to do the migrate master data. So on this scenario is the user after two weeks confirm everything done already. So maybe uh on fifteen on January like that that done already, then we can do again the migrate data. So if let's say upside there, the master data don't have any changing, you can just migrate the opening. You can select the option like this. So you can, this here you can split two part to do. First part is migrate the master data. Second part is a migrate the opening. So here also technology, cause this one uh, on my scenario here is a full year cutoff. That's why here you we have uh, 
I have to set this one P and L as return earning. So as mentioned here, need to ensure opening amount not involve new master data at the smart scale. Once the migration of opening balance are completed, if less if can you perform the regenerate stock cost at the dynamic day to recalculate all the stock costing. So this one you have to take note of. Okay. After done the migration, you have to check in the opening balance of the dynamic with smart scale. For the account opening balance, ensure the dynamo the account opening balance, the total amount daily with the smart scale, the balance sheet. So you have to compare the account opening with the balance sheet of, since this one is a full year cut off. So the access to date, you have to select the cut off date at the smart scale balance sheet there. And the supplier opening balance. Is compared with the supplier aging listing at the smart scale there. And then opening balance also is a customer aging listing there. The stock opening balance is the closing stock value report there to make sure it's daily. Okay. After you've done the all the migration, what have you checking? We got a checking list, up, but this one is by my side to do the checking uh, what I did before on few case for the migration. Here you can make sure the company report header uh, cause the, after you migrate here will be blank. If let's say you no set anything here when you when the users want to print any report or any document it will blank no show the company header. So this one first have to take note, have to do the uh, report header for user. Second thing is will be the chart of cow. When maybe uh, you can try to come to chart of cow here, you click this, you select this one, repair broken fixed asset link. If let's say here you can see the red color words here, you, you have to set the uh, accumulated depreciation account to link back together. Cause uh, this one at the spine scale, then maybe user don't have uh, set correctly. So here you have to set correctly for them. This is the sample cause you can see there no set a link account. Even here, just now this three uh fixed asset, how come no don't have link with the accumulated depreciation account? Cause here you can see, even here you got two, but at the link account here, they don't have to do the linking. So here we just edit and insert the uh, the deposition account for them. Okay, this one is depend on user la. Cause when I try to do the after I try the few case of migration, I found the voucher and coupon. Here we can see uh, it's under sales or income at the smart scale. That's why here. Uh, at our dynamo here, when you see the current asset by right here, you cannot see the voucher output. It will show at the sales part there. If let's say you want to uh, cost at our dynamo default child of cow, these two account will be under the current asset. If let's say you want same as the uh, Dynamo default chart of cow, you can uh, delete the voucher or coupon. If let's say don't have the, any account transaction, you can delete or then you put back to these two account under the current asset. But this one is depends on the user 
they want to follow this one or follow diamond mood before the color. And uh, this two also, these two uh, standard purchase test and the suspend as sub sales test. This one last time at the smart scale is uh, under the current asset and current ability. But at the dynamo default, it will under the standard uh, cost of goods sold here. If let's say you want follow same as the dynamo here, maybe you can move same as the dynamo here. Adjust. You can do it like this. If you don't need, maybe you just leave it off. So you will show, you will see the standard portrait test under the current asset at the dynamo day. The current ability, you can see this one suspend or accept sales tag. Okay. The third thing you have to do check is the default costing method to prevent the new stock item set wrongly. If let's say here you set the last time it is set the standard cost and you have to set the fit cost up. If let's say last time they set the average cost, you have to set the weighted average cost for the user. If not later, they add the item, new item is different. And then the stock value here. If let's say here they got changed before at the smart scale there, you can set same with the dynamo here. Default account prevent uh, not send with the smart SQL. So here also have to take note of what they have this uh, set, then you have to set send with them. If not, later uh, the transaction will be posting to wrong account. Especially the user who got uh, changed the, their own uh, better. Uh, the default account. If let's say based on here, you can come, maybe they got changed the account, maybe the track adapter, they got changed to another account code, then you have to set same with the actual what user set one up. If not, later they're posting the, this account to under another account already. And then the service tax output will show Technola, because uh, now if let's say for the user who got do the um, SSD at existing smart scale data, then you have to set correctly, same with their uh, existing smart scale data there. If not, later posting the wrong account code at the Dynamo lab when they start to use the Dynamo. And then the default SSD setting, you have to come. Make sure checking if let's say they got SSD. And then the location job number. If let's say last time they got set the job number at the cash and post there, you have to do the mapping here at the dynamo default, uh, company default setting here. And then the test code and the account mapping, you have to make sure it's correct what they're mapping. Is it the test code is under the this account code? Cause here, Dynamo here, the account code is different with the Smart SQL for the SST one. So this one you have to take note. Cause at the Smart SQL there, maybe they're using is not this one. Then later new transaction, you will follow Dynamo uh, new account code. Uh, later you will. If they want to submit the account there, then you can see it will, will be a messy one. So this one you have to take note. And then the mapping for the survey test, because this one is the sales test. This one is the survey test, you have to take note also. And then the bill payment method. Because last time, uh, Smart Scale don't have this pay bill payment method. For Dynamo here, by default, only this five payment method only. So either you get the user how to add, or you can set the set for user as well. 
So, cause maybe they got different bank account or different check account. So if this one you can set for them or ask get user how to set up. And then the opening balance for the account opening balance full year cutoff. You will like see this one, the at the account opening there. So ensure this one is a account opening balance daily with your smart SQL balance sheet as as the cutoff date. And then the middle cutoff one, you have to make sure it's compared with a smart SQL try balance. And then the opening balance have to compare with a smart SQL customer aging. Yeah, the migration of any outstanding document now from supplier is the outstanding supplier invoice adjustment or the advanced payment or receipt and or the adjustment as well. So this one have to take note. So customer here, supplier here. Sorry, this one is the customer, and then here is a uh, supplier. So here, I think it also the palette already. So this one, by right, is a customer. This one is the supplier. Later, I will change. Okay. Stop opening balance here. Also ensure the stop opening balance daily with the closing stop value, smart SQL closing stop value. So this one, you have to make sure it's correctly. And then the account stop value. This one at the this one at the by at the smart scale there you can click on the GL there you can see the closing stop value so you will see the things have to make sure it's compared is correctly yeah. okay which one which uh what items is not covered on the migration smart SQL. The report format, as just now mentioned, that's why you have to uh, prepare earlier for user. Since this one is the, have to do the same. If let's say uh, the user that format, you, you got did the user report format before, maybe you can set the copy of you can set a copy first, then uh, maybe the next one customer almost sent, then you can uh, use the same format at the customer there, maybe you adjust a bit. For the eye set, if let's say the user got used the eye center, maybe some of the report you can export from eye center, you can try to import to Dynamo. If let's say when preview, after import to Dynamo there, if they say uh, no error, that means they can use up. Uh. So for my side, also got tried before, uh, it's no, no problem. Uh. So maybe you can try. The user access right uh, as just now mentioned, uh, Dynamo, the access right will not follow because it's not same with the smart scale. So that's why here you have to set correctly for the user group. You can use the user group set all the things for if I said they got few groups, you can set after you set, then just uh, mapping the group with the user. The touch uh, post user also, you have to set the group. You can set the user group first, then you see the uh, which user is under the user group, then you just do the matching on it. And then the smart scale promotion. We got a stop promotion and make a match. These two promotion will not migrate to Dynamo. So this one have to think about. And then the touch and post, post menu and post modifier, this will not uh, migrate. So you have to do the setup again for the user at the Dynamo post menu there. Okay, after we talk about the item not cover, we will some of the missing features compared with the smart SQL. First will be the customer. If let's say your customer is using the workshop license, meter reading, optical or warranty book supply or goldsmith, 
it will not cover at the moment now. We will try to cover uh, maybe by the, in future. But for my side also got a customer also using the warranty module. They also can accept at the moment now. So they can, they, maybe you can uh, advise them how to use other method to uh, apply on Dynamo there, almost same with their warranty module. The cu customer cut file multi-level discount. So this one is not covered on the migration. So this one will be the missing features. Of. So Dynamo, but we can set it at our Dynamo uh, this promotion member group plan. Cause at the promotion member group plan there, you can set the discount like this. But if let's say your use your customer, they want to use the this one on the invoice there, then this one uh maybe our dynamo there they're not able to do that. Cause uh this one is for post. This one promotion member group plan is for post system one. So this one you have to look. And then the supplier cut file there, the missing supplier parent company account. For Dynamo here, we got cover the customer cut file for the customer parent company account. But supplier here is the missing, not uh, not cover. Lah. And then the sales target commission. This one also not at the dynamo. So in case your customer got use this one, maybe you can explain for them. But here maybe see how to do in future. If let's say got many uh, user use it, maybe you can raise up for us to know. Lah. And then the manufacturer and how at our smart SQL day, the chart of cow we got the manufacturer account code. So you can see on the screen, like at the smart SQL there, if let's say the customer is a user manufacturer account, you just click add to chart of cow, they will auto insert to the chart of cow there. But for Dynamo, it's not include this kind of the setting. Like. And the notes template. Last time the smart gel got the note templates like this, but smart gel uh dynamo is not uh include this one. And then the item package listing, it will auto insert the build of material listing on item detail row. That's mean for our BOM. We just uh, insert the, if let's say you set up the BOM, it will, for the combo item only to show at the system there. So for smart scale here, actually you can insert the package here. It will show the details of the combo. So this one also don't have at the dynamo also. And then the cost maintenance also don't have at the uh, dynamo here. And the inventory report, stock purchase sales listing. This one is combination the purchase and sales together for dynamo here is separate to two report. Lah. And then the touch and post server socket and client socket, these features, import transaction and export transaction. Uh, import transaction, uh, export master data and import master data. This one is actually is the features. Uh, actually, if let's say the user offline, maybe can know, uh, don't have any network. We, uh, last time, touch and post, you got uh, this features export the transaction, then 
uh, import to the server socket there. So this kind of setting is not really cover at a dynamo early. Okay. For the if let's say the use you got the user got use the i center. So what can migrate from i center? We can cost always we some of the user they will ask oh, you uh, have to migrate the post menu uh, post menu category uh, modifier group this kind of thing a uh, promotion setting and the post user location the salesman post paper method as well so this one you have to manually run the script uh, so you can download from here we got the inside got a document to guide you how to migrate so this one if can also send you have to test on your uh lo your local test first before you apply this to the customer database there. so after you get the first sheet here actually inside got the script how to migrate so here you can open the script you have to read up uh, what have to replace the database name and the dynamo database name so here for the company id must be hq la. it's hq la. if different then you have to set so for example now this one is the migration for the post menu so here we have to check the we got the migration to check it before migrate got how many record at the i center and then the dynamic got how many record so before migrate sure dynamic is the all is zero then after migrate here you can see the record will be same the i center and the dynamic that's mean no mistake not by right here so this is the screen if let's say post menu category after my grid, it will show the eye center and the dynamo here will be got same post menu category. And then the post menu will be same. The category position on menu also will be same. Item as well, but item here you have to take note not if let's say some of the item they uh not using already or no migrate to dynamo so maybe when you migrate to dynamo they will missing at the dynamo here so have to take note so this is the how to do the migration for from the i center to dynamo so here have to take note if they say they want to migrate this kind of thing to uh dynamo then you can run the script from here so same as what i just now mentioned take, uh, apply on your local pc first before apply to the custom uh, database so at last here is the notice as just now uh units got mentioned we the smart sql and touch and post will be end of life that means no any enhancement until the uh you will until this year the first december 2022 so thank you